Greetings. This is Justin Allen, the Elite Nurse Practitioner. This is the Functional Medicine Advanced Gut Health Course. This is the Elite Nurse Practitioner Guide on Integrating Functional Medicine Based Gut Health Principles into Your Practice. Gut health is considered to be one of the foundations of health in general. And from a functional medicine standpoint, gut health is critically important. The gut is usually the first place a functional medicine provider, functional medicine practitioner will look at when a patient comes in with complaints, okay? So this course is absolutely critical, absolutely foundational if you really want to be a robust functional medicine provider. This is more of an advanced course, all right? We assume that you understand the basics of functional medicine, the basics of gut health. You should have taken our foundational functional medicine course or have some training in functional medicine already. And the authors of this course, I am Justin Allen, family nurse practitioner, owner operator of Elite MP. I own two men's health practices and a medical cannabis clinic. Went from zero to 70,000 a month in two and a half years. So just nice, slow, steady growth. And Carrie Douglas, she is a family nurse practitioner. She is certified in functional medicine and she's been doing functional medicine for almost five years now. She owns two functional medicine practices specializing in functional medicine and women's health. She is critically important to the Elite Nurse Practitioner Functional Medicine line of courses. She knows her stuff when it comes to functional medicine. So what does this course provide? Our aim is to provide the nurse practitioner the tools and knowledge on how to approach the patient from a functional medicine perspective and improve their gut health, which in turn improves their overall health. Like I said earlier, the gut is considered the foundation of health. It is really, really critically important that to have a healthy mind and to have a healthy body, that you have to have a healthy gut as well. Carrie's going to go into a lot more details on why the gastrointestinal system is so important for your health. This course is directed toward any nurse practitioner. The content of this course is applicable to any nurse practitioner type and can be integrated into your practice immediately. It doesn't matter if you're a psych, NP, or an adult nurse practitioner, right? It doesn't matter. This information is important. It is critical to know. You really want to be a robust nurse practitioner and really integrate principles of functional medicine into your practice. The information in this course is going to be very important for you to understand. But I want to give you a quick warning. We highly recommend that anyone taking this course understand the foundational principles of functional medicine and basic gut health discussed in the foundational functional medicine course. Okay, Many of you listening to my voice right now probably already took the foundational functional medicine course and have a good solid understanding. If you have other functional medicine training, this course will provide you more advanced education on gut health and various perspectives on gut health. This course will still clarify gut health from a functional medicine standpoint, and it'll really solidify why it is important to know this information. Now, what is functional medicine? Functional medicine is defined as a patient-centered and systems biology-based approach to chronic disease management, where the root cause of disease is identified and addressed. That is the key factor there. It's root cause diagnosis, root cause evaluation, root cause treatment. You're trying to figure out what it is that's actually causing the symptom. Traditional medicine typically does not do that. Patients are fed up with it. And honestly, as a nurse practitioner, I'm kind of sick of that model myself, to be perfectly honest with you. Patients will feel better from functional medicine approaches and treatment. So what is gut health? In functional medicine, gut health refers to the balance and proper functioning of the gastrointestinal system. This includes the integrity of the gut lining, the lining of the small intestine, the large intestine, et cetera, the diversity and an abundance of beneficial gut microbes, gut bacteria, okay, probiotics, and the effectiveness of digestion, absorption, and elimination processes. You have to have a healthy gastrointestinal system if you want to be a healthy person, right? People abuse their GI tract by eating junk and just not really taking care of themselves and they wonder why they don't feel good. I mean, it's a no-brainer. The goal is to optimize gut health as it plays a crucial role in overall health and wellness. It influences the immune system, it influences hormones, and it even improves and is important for brain function. The gut is considered the foundation to a healthy mind and body by many functional medicine practitioners. So why even bother with functional medicine, right? I talk about this in the foundational functional medicine course, but I thought it'd be a good review for those who might not really understand what this is and why even bother with it. More and more Americans are looking for functional medicine providers. They are. It is in demand. People are sick and tired of being treated like another number, just being shoved a pill being on the conveyor belt of modern healthcare, modern medicine, okay? They want an answer and they want the problem fixed. Could be something as simple as changing a food in their diet. 
right? It could be that simple, but someone just has to listen to them and really get down to the root cause, right? Functional medicine has grown into an $87 billion industry in the United States. This is big money. This is big, big business. It will continue to grow. Functional medicine practices are growing rapidly. More and more people seek these services, all right? More and more people in mainstream media, more and more social media influencers, podcast influencers, et cetera, talk about this stuff, okay? They do, and therefore people are looking for it. It is a cheap and is a fairly simple business to start, okay? It is not that complicated to really start a functional medicine practice. It really isn't. You do not need that much office equipment. You don't really need that many supplies. There's essentially very little overhead with it, right? There is a low barrier to entry, but the biggest barrier to entry is just learning it. It's just getting the information and integrating it into your practice. That's the biggest barrier. Outside of that it is a piece of cake to really integrate this in your practice or start a functional medicine-based practice like we talk about in the foundational functional medicine course in detail. It can be cash-based, the insurance-based. Cash-based is the predominant form of payment when it comes to alternative medicine. Cash is king, in my opinion. When you have a cash practice, it makes your life so much easier and people will pay cash for this. They will do not worry about that. But you can do insurance. If you are operating a primary care practice or whatever, and you are billing people's insurance, knowing functional medicine and providing patients this kind of information and looking for root cause, you can definitely do that in an insurance-based practice, okay? And you can bill insurance for it. You would just bill standard E&M codes. So you will just be paid for your time, basically. So there are not enough functional medicine providers in many areas of this country, all right? The demand is very, very big, especially in rural areas. It is easy to scale. It is easy to grow a functional medicine practice. Patient volume should steadily increase once word of mouth starts. You can also integrate a lot of other complementary services into a functional medicine practice. By that, I mean like IV infusion, weight loss, hormone replacement therapy, et cetera. These things complement functional medicine, and they're easy to integrate together. So that is why, in my opinion, I think functional medicine is going to be the future of medicine in many aspects. Just healthcare is going towards more of a natural holistic approach. So what can optimizing gut health do for your patients? Let's just go a little bit of that. So improve digestive function, all right? So you can address issues like dysbiosis, inflammation, leaky gut. Patients may experience improved digestive function, which can then lead to fewer digestive symptoms like bloating, gas, or constipation. They're going to feel better. When you are bloated all the time, you do not feel well, right? I've been bloated before. I'm sure almost everyone listening to my voice has been bloated before. It is not a comfortable feeling. Imagine feeling that way all the time, right? If you optimize someone's gut health, you will have better nutrient absorption. The gut is responsible for absorbing nutrients from food. It is absolutely a necessity for your health to be able to absorb nutrients and vitamins, right? It is not negotiable. So when it's functioning optimally, patients can better absorb key vitamins and minerals, right? Macronutrients that are essential for your health. You're going to feel better. Enhanced immune function. 70% of the immune system is in the gut. It is in the gastrointestinal tract. Therefore, gut health will help improve immune function and reduce inflammation. Reduced risk of chronic disease. Lots of research has linked poor gut health with a higher risk of chronic diseases. Obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, autoimmune disorders, etc. So if you optimize gut health and improve mental health, there is a growing body of research linking gut health to mental health. So if you can improve gut health, you may improve people's mood, anxiety, depression, etc. So optimizing gut health can lead to a range of benefits for patients from improved digestion and nutrient absorption to reduce risk of chronic disease and enhance immune function and improved mood. So it's very, very important. That's one reason why we are releasing this course as one of our first advanced functional medicine courses, because it is just so important to understand. Now, what type of practices could benefit from integrating functional medicine and advanced gut health optimization into it? Practically any kind of practice. I mean, really like a weight loss clinic. I mean, obviously you're obese because of your gastrointestinal tract. It's as simple as that, you know, hormone replacement therapy clinic, uh, women's men's health, the root cause of some hormone imbalances and some issues could be from a poor gastrointestinal tract, okay? And, you know, pretty much any other clinic, an anti-aging practice, wellness practices, obviously an integrated medicine practice, primary care clinic, all right? So really, really be thinking about how you can integrate this into your practice. I think it is applicable to almost any kind of practice, okay? And now Carrie will be taking over. She is going to be going over the course content and she is going to be talking for the next few hours. So she is going to talk your head off about gut health. And by the end of it, you should have a very, very solid understanding of how to do this from a functional medicine standpoint. So if you guys enjoy, I'll circle back around towards the end of the course to cover a few other things. Thanks.
In this course, we are going to teach you everything that you need to know that other schools and courses just don't teach. This course is absolutely packed full of information that you need to know as a functional medicine provider or even as a conventional provider that wants to bring integrative medicine into your practice. We are going to cover subjects like salivation and mastication and early digestive processes. And I promise as rudimentary as it sounds, you're going to learn something here. We are also going to cover GI hormones, and there is a whole lot of information I promise that you have never even heard of. I'm really excited to get started, and we have a ton of information to cover. For example, we are going to be covering the digestive tract and its functions, the gut-brain connection, the microbiome, what happens when there's imbalance in the microbiome dysbiosis, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO, fungal and yeast overgrowth, parasites, inflammatory bowel disorders, IBS, IBD, Crohn's colitis, gastritis, GERD, intestinal permeability or leaky gut, H. pylori, celiac disease, what testing options are available to us and which ones should we choose, and of course, treatment strategies. So the whole goal here is to make lasting differences in patients' lives and their quality of life and their health and further the field of functional medicine.